Now, we have seen the insane amount of Russian men in their 20s and 30s departing the country in mass exodus, which is to be expected, but there's clearly a ton that aren't going to be able to get out of there because they don't have the means to do so. Like, we are starting to see footage of the first mobilized Russians who have actually surrendered to the Ukrainian military just five days after being called up to fight inside of Ukraine. So let's be brutally honest here, like with regards to these uh, these men, the, the men that are being called up to fight. They know, just as well as all of us, that they are nothing more than cannon fodder. They know this. They know they're going to be piss poorly trained, which we have discussed on this channel a few separate times. But for everybody who doesn't know, Russians do not have a controlled training environment for their new recruits like we do here in America. But I mean by that, they don't have multiple bases. We have, I think, 10 to 15 uh, spread across all branches. Now, they have one. Okay. The American soldier is trained at a basic training and then they sent off to their units where they then received a, a qualified amount of training. I'm going to say qualified to, it's, 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 I'm going to do this because we train them to what we see fit to complete a task at hand to a certain extent. The Russian soldier, on the other hand, is trained literally just on one small base and then is sent to the unit to receive all the needed training and skills to be successful. So with the war going on, there is literally going to be no one to train these men. So they're going to be sent to the units with, with, without a drop of training and they're going to get caught up. It's just, it's just, I don't know. Their, their ability to handle a rifle is going to be really, it, it's just, I don't know. I personally do not see these men making a massive difference in the war effort as a, as a whole. And, and they're not going to be actually be able to take back any more ground because they're just going to be soft targets for the Ukrainian military to take advantage of with equipment like the HIMARS, which by the way, they just got 18 more of. Yes, 18 more HIMARS 